I'm gonna do that. Okay, friends, we have a plan for today. The plan is we make a vlog, we record clips of us doing things, and we turn it into a video, and everyone will love it. Or at least I will love it. We will figure out about the everyone bit. Wish me luck! Stage one done. Uh, lunch, breakfast, snack, and not in that order. <laughs> Next, laundry. Having reached our final location of the morning, I apologize for the lack of video of me walking into the house because holy cow, I've got to carry all this stuff myself. And there's one person and six bags. It's always a trick and there's no way I'm doing it while holding the phone as well. But basically, this is a routine Saturday. I go to Wegmans, I get lunch, I come to the location of the laundry, and I do laundry. Usually I have a kid with me, but I don't, so I'm taking advantage of the filming time today. Uh, nobody wanted to come with me. I don't understand. It's New Year's Eve Eve, though, so maybe that has something to do with it. Wait a minute. In two trips. Okay. <gasps> Otter! You can't come in. This is not my cat. Oh, scritchy, 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 scritchy. You're a chonker. You're a sweet old chonker. Yes. No? Okay. You're gonna try and sneak in, so we gotta be sneaky. Bye, buddy. Bye, Otter. Oh, he's so cute. Well, that was nice. I'm glad I caught him. Okay. Okay. This did not work on the cabinet door like I hoped it would. So we are moving on to putting you in a cabinet. Oh, goodness. And we're going to chat and sort some laundry. So... That's not going to work. Hold on. That's better. So kind of what I wanted to talk about was, hey, happy new year. And it's New Year's Eve Eve as I record this. I am looking forward to New Year quite a bit. Uh, not because I had a bad 2024, but just because 
I'm really looking forward to the, um, the goals that I have set up and getting to work on them. Now, I have started to work on some of those goals already. I didn't, as I was working throughout December on 2024 goals and plans and resolutions and all of those words, whichever one you like, you just pick that one. I, I started working on them when I discovered that this is a habit I want to have. I want to be more social, so I'm going to go out to the so, um, happy hours that people host at work. So I went to one of those. I want to, and that's part of kind of making new friends and, and that kind of stuff. What else have I started working on? There's something else. It'll come to me. Okay, this is the biggest basket. Yeah. Hang on just a second. Okay, much better. So, I have finished my vision board. I'm really excited about that because that was a bit of, it was a bit of a challenge. It took me probably from no mid-November through December to finish up and I tried to make a video on it, on how I made it. But both times the videos were really long and I wasn't 100% sure because I had already created most of my vision board so I didn't want to go over and try and recreate that. But I also wanted to show how I do it. Essentially, it didn't work the way I wanted and so I don't have a vision board video out. I may still because not everybody is spending their December preparing for the new year. Not Some people are actually doing things in January, doing things in February, in March. There is really no perfect time to restart your life, to kind of give it a jump start. And so if you need to do your vision board in April, do your vision board in April. I actually last year's, I had one ready for the first of the year and then I changed it and then I changed it again. And it, I, the version that I ended up with finally is much more true to the vibe of this year's and maybe I'll share that one. I can't remember what it said on it right now because I'm not looking at it. But basically, it had some goals, some pictures of my goals, but it also had vibes. Like, I had a, a picture of some pretty crystals on there. I had a unicorn dabbing. I had, ooh, these are nice. New sweatpants for my husband. Getting another pair of these. It had, um, I think a cat on there somewhere, a unicorn crown. It had, it had a lot of stuff that weren't really specifically any goals, but they were just my vibes. It had a picture of four different pictures of women who look like me, not with longer hair, but you know, not exactly look like me, but you know what I mean? Look like me shape wise. And I had skirts written under there because I wanted to wear more skirts. Did I ever wear a skirt last year? No, I did not. Am I ever likely to wear a skirt this year? No. No, I'm not. But it, it, basically what I'm saying is I know some people do vision boards that are strictly pictures of their goals. And maybe they're more feelings of the goals, but you know, they're just pictures. And I know, oops, that goes there. And I know some people do vision boards that are very literal in terms of not just pictures of their goals, but like words, because you know, words work better for them. That's fine. And mine is just kind of this chaotic combination. And 
I would love, 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 love to see other people's vision boards to see if anybody else does anything remotely like mine. Um, I love, I love vision board videos. I actually have one to watch today. Um, so why didn't I get myself mine done? Uh, what else? The laundry, for some reason, doesn't always take as long when I do it by myself. Which is counterintuitive. It's not that other people are slowing me down. I don't know. I would like to do a little update, kind of review-y thing for the um, Artist of Life journal that I have. As well as the Project 369 book that I started that I never actually showed on the channel before. It wasn't exactly that TikTok made me buy it, but I saw it on TikTok everywhere and I bought it from Amazon. Not because I don't want to support people on TikTok, but it just didn't seem trustworthy. I'm just not comfortable with, with TikTok shop yet. I uh, am so glad for the people it's working out for. Do you have an experience with TikTok shop? Do you like it? Does it work? Have you shopped with it? Does it scam me? I don't know. It feels scammy, but no more than Timu feels scammy. And I bought things from Timu too. Um. Yeah. One more basket done. Oh. My kids laundry bag it weighs a lot they didn't unwrap their socks for me <sighs> one of my christmas gifts to my son i'm not procrastinating i do excited quests <laughs> ah. here's the other one Sorry, can't. I'm an indoor cat. I get such a, such a kick out of Timu. Not Timu. Oh, Teespring. Sir, why did you decide that you needed all those washes today? I, today is not going to be one of those days where laundry goes back and forth. So yeah, I'd like to do a little bit of a project review for the Artist Life book that I'm working on. Um, I'm really enjoying all the prep work. I don't think I'm quite done. Um, but honestly, I wish I had started with it because the goals that I've set, the goals, the habits, the things that I want to do this year, I'm not even sure how to phrase it. The version that I did for the planner life planner, budget planner that we did, we created for my workplace. I like those answers better. And when I looked at my um, vision board, I saw that those goals made it onto the vision board. And whatever I'm working on in the Artists of Life book is not going quite as well. That's not to say that I'm going to, seriously, that's not to say that, you know, the Artist of Life isn't working or that I'm not going to use it. I just think I'm going to concentrate on the, use it with, in exchange with, in concert with, in concert with the, the work one, the work goals that I set. I'm kind of also really excited to, for January 1st. The one thing that I couldn't start early is the daily planner that I create, I created in, partnership with my boss at my day job and it has a daily tracker in it for 15 goals it has places to write your affirmations which is a lot um your manifestation statements for your 369 journal if you've done those before um so I'm looking forward to starting that on New Year's Day and see if I can keep it up for the entire first quarter one moment my co-worker 
commits to the work planner completely. And I have never been able to stick out more than a couple weeks in the first quarter. I have tried, I have tried so hard. And it just, it doesn't stick for me. So why did I order myself another one? That's a really good question. I don't know. Possibly it was a really bad idea. We'll see. I'd like to try to stick with that for, I'd like to try to stick with all the planners that I have. See which ones I look forward to filling out. See which ones are easy to commit to and which ones are more difficult to remember. And then just sort of see where things lay. I saw a TikTok from Mama Cusses and she said to me, to the audience, but she was speaking to me, hey, you don't need the planner. You might want the planner and that's okay. That's something completely different, but you don't need the planner. You know, I'm talking to you because I was like, she's talking to me. She's completely talking to me because I do. I end up with the planners and then I have a planner graveyard and I don't use them. But hey, you know what? This is kind of the year of planners. It's create, it's learn, it's sparkle. I am going, those are my words, by the way, create, learn, and sparkle. I am going to do those things this year. I'm going to learn things. I'm going to create things and I'm going to sparkle while doing it. Yes, darn it. Uh, that's the goal. And I'm not giving up. One of the things that the 369 planner said, hey, what happens if I miss a day? And it's like, just pick up the next day. It's okay. Well, what if I need to change my, my affirmation throughout the year? then change it. Your life is flexible. You're, you're, you know, you're in flow. You have, you know, different things, different needs at different times. And if you need to change because your needs have changed, then change. I was like, I needed to hear that. <laughs> I needed somebody to tell me that that wasn't me. That's what I needed. Because I can tell myself all the good things. But I, I need other people to tell me it too. So, yeah. There's that. I have a ridiculously large uh, casual black load. Woo! Okay, I'm done sorting. I'm going to start a load of laundry. And I will pick back up with some other things somewhere at some point today. Because I'm doing things. Vlogging. Catching you up. Thanks. Premier Protein Cafe Latte and Blueberry Muffin. Where's the blueberries? Blueberries. Blueberry Muffin. Breakfast of Champions. Okay, so I got, like I mentioned, the 369 journal. And I got the Limitless Edition because this is what I saw on TikTok for weeks and weeks, I'm going to say. Not quite months and months, but weeks and weeks before I finally gave in and bought it. And if you've never seen it or you've never seen ads for it, I don't know how you missed it because there were heckin' everywhere for me. But if you've never seen it, it basically gives you introductions, affirmations, and self-care and then the 369 journaling. Do you need to buy this book to do affirmations? or to do the journaling. No, you don't. But I appreciate I appreciate a lot. I'm sorry about the shadow. Gosh. All of the information um you know how how true is it? How accurate is it? I don't know. Um It's just it was just interesting for me to read and to take in and to have that sort of point of view. Um, so I, I, I enjoyed reading the first part. Then they have the breakdown of how you're supposed to use it. But basically, in the morning, you write your affirmation three times. In the afternoon, you write it six times. In the evening, you write it nine times. There's a reason you do the three, six, and nine. But... Um, 
you know, whether you subscribe to that or not, whether you do it in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening, or you do it all at once, basically it's the repetition and the focus on what you want. So I got a promotion this week. My net worth is $2 million. Those are the examples they give. The affirmations that they gave, I actually really liked. I book dog-eared this section because I can always, like... Sometimes you just like, I know I'm not in the right headspace. I need something like this. So yeah, this is where you, this is a nice resource. I think when I'm done with this journal, I will probably take a lot of these things and type them up for myself just to have maybe on posters or I don't know, just somewhere where I can glance and see them. So they have affirmations for abundance, for relationships, for my wealth for health, and then self-care menu, ideas for there, and then you finally get into the actual journaling itself. I'm going to go to my most recent one, not because these are inherently private, but just because this one I know it's, it's a nice, decent to-do list. So basically what you have is what actions are you going to be taking today, and then you can list what you're going to get done. And then how will I show myself love today? And I have fill out budget downloadable before Minecraft and then meditate because I have been working on trying to start my stupid budget. This is another one of my goals for 2024 and I'm starting in 2023 by just getting a downloadable and starting it. Now I have tried to show my budget journey on this channel before and it didn't work out as well as I wanted to but I am going to at least keep everybody updated with how I'm doing and right now I have this downloadable downloadable from the budget mom mostly filled out I just grabbed whatever one and I figure I will try the way someone else has it work best you know how it works best for somebody else and then I will adjust it to how it's going to work best for me, whether that's handwriting or whether that's plan a, a um, digital planner, whether it's, you know, Excel or, or Google Sheets. So you have your, what are you doing today? And then you have your affirmations. Now, today I'm actually doing morning, afternoon, and evening. And my affirmation is, I am so grateful for the $10,000 in my savings. Now, do I have $10,000 in my savings? No, but I'm writing as if I do. I am being positive about it and I am being present tense about it. And what I have found this is doing for me is I am paying more attention. I'm thinking to myself, um, wow, $10,000 in my savings. I don't have that. How am I going to get it? So it's starting to bleed over into purchases I'm making or thinking about making. It's uh, bleeding into, hey, you know what? This budget thing, I really need to get on it. I really need to get cracking. I need to sort it out and get it solidified. It's, it's bringing my focus to what I want so that I can achieve it. And I think I'm, this is actually on my vision board. I think that I am going to make this my affirmation that I repeat writing for until it happens, um, at least for a good part of the year. Well, we'll see, because then everything can change, like I said. And then the rest of the journal really is just spaces. The other thing it has is every week, it offers, every seven days, it offers you a review. What were my top achievements for the last week? How did taking action towards my goals feel? What did not happen? What actions can I take to improve? Did I fully enjoy what I was doing? How can I be more present? And then they give you another affirmation. The importance of reviewing my week has been lost on me almost my entire life. Reviewing my weeks, reviewing my months, reviewing my quarters, reviewing my years. I haven't done this. And Sometimes I'm grumpy about it and ugh, taking actions towards my goals. I didn't get any of that done and I have my little negative moment, but I write it down and I, I do the process because at some point it, it's, it's the act as if. 
You know, it's the, the fake it till you make it. Do the process, do the mo motions, and at some point this is going to sink in and become a regular practice and I'm going to see the value in it. So I don't love them because there's too many slashes, <laughs> but, and maybe I'm supposed to write, you know, month, day, two, day, and then you're, I, I don't know. But other than that, that's what the book has. And I filled out, you know, a chunk of it. And I don't know that I'll buy this particular journal again, but I will definitely take the lessons I've learned from it and carry it into over, over into other things. So I just heard some part of the laundry stop. So if you'll excuse me, let's see here. What was it that stopped? It was the dryer. Two socks. Anybody know what that's from? Topic. The Cutting Edge. Love that movie. Okay. I never used to do towels first. I always folded or washed towels last. And I always end up having to run the towel load one extra cycle because it never gets done 100% on the first time. I'm putting all of the towels into the same load. So, I started doing the towel load first, and then immediately next I do the delicate load. Since the drying time for the towels is twice as long as normal, it works out. The delicate load, a lot of it doesn't go in the dryer. And so I hold out, you know, dry out my, line up my socks and dry them out. I hang up the bras and stuff like that that got washed in the delicate load that don't go in the dryer because a lot of heat breaks down the elastic. And that's why you're not supposed to stick bras in the wash or in the dryer. Just in case for some reason you didn't know that, I imagine many of my viewers do. I imagine that my viewers are mostly, I don't know. That's an interesting question. When I get more viewers, I will find out. Age ranges. But I anticipate they're all gonna be like my age which is almost 46. I got a birthday coming up in a few days. Which I'm not that excited about, but not for the reason you might think. I'm not that excited about 46. 46 sounds like a boring number. Like 45 is in the middle of the 40s. And so that's interesting enough. But, 46? Eh. I'll be more interested in 47 because 47 is one of my numbers. But, um, yeah, I'm not into it. I think the next really interesting number is going to be 50, and that's five years away. And because the delicate load was done for I got it ready. And I can just dump it in. trying to do smaller loads today. I'm hoping that that will make the whole day go faster. We shall see. It occurs to me that it is very loud with both machines running, so you may not be able to hear me, in which case I will be back. All right, as promised, update for my Artist of Life workbook. This is from Lavendaire, who actually, I didn't realize until after I purchased it, has a YouTube channel. And so I just wanted to go through, I know I did a walkthrough of what the contents are, but I just wanted to go through and share how it's been going for me. So what have we got here? The first thing I did was Goodbye 2023. I, um, in 2023, I actually did some things. I built a small YouTube audience. I saved for Christmas. I got back into therapy. I was happy with my vision board. I felt more happy than depressed. Big deal. And I started writing fiction again, guilt and anger free. 
spam. The rest of the review went pretty well. And then the Hello 2024. And I decided that my theme or my words this year are create, learn, and sparkle. I did a little brainstorming here in the back where I had balance, creative, creation, create, streaks, habits, productive, peaceful, education, learn, manifestation, release, let go, and sparkle. Now, do I really have like a... Uh, uh, like sparkle, does that really have a meaning? Have I ever really sparkled before? No, what that might mean is me wearing more makeup and who the heck knows? They have a couple pages on the vision board and I just, I went literal. Uh, current me is kind of happy with short hair and future me is gonna try to grow out her hair and um, you know, sparkle. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Again, they wanted us to draw a picture of ourselves. Well, you're getting a stick figure because I'm not a very good artist. Yeah, I plowed through all these sections, designing habits, committing to habits. My dream life, I work through this book slowly. It. I did a page or two a day. And this is one of my big things for 2024 is cleaning up the house because I am not thrilled with the way my house is right now, the cleanliness of my house. Creativity and play, I, you know, main goals, why and how, bucket list, um, before 2025, I only came up with 11 things. I'm going to come back to that. And then, let's see. How to stay committed on fear. Let's see here. This is the start of the goal book. I picked a theme for January for the quarter one. I filled out my self-reflection wheel. I love love these wheels. Um, I, I put lines through the categories that I'm not focusing on and I shaded in my wheel. So currently my wheel is not even, <laughs> I need to work on that. Uh, but yeah, I've got some habits set up. I'm looking forward to coming in every day and adding a gratitude and then reviewing it and then getting ready for the next month. I am loving I'm loving this book. Um, I can 100% see myself purchasing this next year. I, I love it. It feels soft. It's a nice color. I wish, I wish they, I don't know if actually, they might have had a different color and I just got this purple one. Do they have a purple and a white one? Or a green one? Well, at any rate, I'm enjoying it. I'm very excited. <sighs> 100% was worth what I spent on it. If I didn't also have life planning things from my workplace, from my day job, this would 100% be perfect for me. Uh, laundry is almost done. And honestly, this is an entire day affair. So right now it's about six o'clock. And I started out with my first load at 10 a.m. Yeah, I got my first load started and all of the sorting done at 10 a.m. Man, this last load, waiting for the last load to finish drying is always like the most tedious part. The It takes the longest, I don't know. But at any rate, on the off chance that I don't remember to film an outro, I just wanted to say I had so much fun doing this today. It helped that I was completely alone and I didn't have anyone with me. I don't think I could have done this if there were, if there was a kid with me um, as there usually is, but um, yeah, I had fun. Uh, this is my last video for 2023. My first actual real solid, this counts as a vlog kind of vlog. And, um, I really enjoyed it. So I hope you had fun. I realized this video is long. I've done some editing already and, um, yeah, but if you've stuck with me to this point, wonderful. Thank you. I love you. Stick a 
rainbow emoji in the chat because I love rainbows. And if you don't love rainbows, put anything in the chat. Uh, comments, comments, because comments are nice. So are likes, so are subscribes, but only if you're interested in my content. If you're not interested, don't subscribe. I don't need subscribers just for the sake of subscribing. Just this, this channel's gonna grow on its own. It'll get there, no problem. Anyway, if I don't do an actual outro, have a good night and thank you for watching. Bye, love you, bye. number one or three depending on how you like to count and number four we are done with the laundry